with the Detroit Lions. 22 men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from Atlanta. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. Reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the 27, Ryan. And this one incomplete. Here to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. It's complete. This is Todd Gurley. And he now a draw play for Gurley. And well, read and react by them. Understood the play call. From the gun, Ryan. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And the Lions, 47-yard line. Operating from the gun, Ryan. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurt. On third down, Ryan. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. He completes this to Russell. First and ten. They go play action with Ryan. Got to flare this one out to Gurley in the flat. For eight yards. Gurley now. Toss right. And he went nowhere. Well, he went. They need here. This is third down. From the gun. Ryan. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And able to get and seven. At the 20 yard Ryan. And it is caught at the seven. And it's done now. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point attempt to follow here. the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. Falcons 7, Lions nothing. Young Way Koo to kick off for So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fields it in the middle of the line. He'll set up the throw from the gun. And that is in. This is DeAndre Swift who of course played just up the road in Athens. They had to make up some ground and they did. Throwing on third down. Stafford looking for him. And don't line. It's intercepted. Picked actually handled the football. And you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. Throwing on. So they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger third and long. Operating from the gun. Ryan. And he will not get what he needs. Both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. I will hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. On first and goal, Gurley. And he's able to get it down. Well, extend their lead. Young Way Koo lining up CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. 
And this carries. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. There he goes. Tech McKinley made his way into the backfield. Another try after the first down sack. Stafford, that is station. Set up another passing down here on third and long. Third and long, it's Stafford. And that is... They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And at this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the... They go play action now. Ryan. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Game, and it's something you did not need to do. From the gun, here's Stafford. I was going to let this go for the end zone. Galladay's got it, and the Lions have a touchdown. To number 19, Kenny Galladay, 41 yards. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. Is good. Makes the score Falcons 14, Lions 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time. And he can't a first half of play. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Got some room at the 30. And he is out of bounds on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Go for this on fourth and a yard. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he'll find Hall. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. Touchdown, Detroit. Marvin Hall in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And that is the definition of yards after catch. They go short on the pass, and the receiver does the rest. Seems so harmless, doesn't it? To throw it underneath a short pass like that, the boy gets dangerous in the hands of the right receiver as he makes a move and takes it the distance. Prater for the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be say one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one. A big shot down. No, no. Julio Jones all alone. Pass the 20. You thought you had it. He's in for the touchdown. How did they get that done? Boy, the action just coming fast and furious right now. If you got up to go get a drink from the fridge, you picked the wrong time. Two long touchdowns. Yeah, and that's how you answer a one-play drive with a one-play drive of your own. And you're exactly right. If you step away from the action, my dad took me to a Major League Baseball game when I was eight. I needed to go to the bathroom. Of course, while we're in the bathroom, the grand slam on the run. Well, it tends to happen that way, doesn't it? Yeah, my dad still hasn't forgiven me. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Young Way Ku to kick off for it. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Fielded in the most game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the loss we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. It's first and ten. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. And that's Grady Jarrett who forced his way through to register the sack. To try again after the sack. Stafford. And they in the air, and now it's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48. One for you, and you hurt your squad. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And he'll lose you. The 47-yard line. Again, it's Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. 
inches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. On third down, Stafford looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And a return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. First possession in the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dub for them. Has that happened to you before? No, no, but stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. Jared Davis on the Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Off the play fake. Here's Ryan. yards on the play first down if you're gonna blitz likely gonna leave you in man coverage with this guy and that is less than ideal it is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver if you blitz and have him in man coverage you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does now on second and 13 Ryan, and they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. To throw on third down, Ryan. And that will be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. From the gun, it's Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Falcons. They've got the football. They've got the lead as we get set to start the fourth. Now it's Gurley. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. It's a gain of eight. From the five, here's second and two. At the five-yard line. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. So first and goal, six points here. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. Tom Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons push further out in front. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I would kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Isaiah Oliver with the INT.
partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here, when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at the 20. They begin with a quick throw out left. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. On second and 12. Ryan. A slant to Jones. And they do finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 41. A big play there. Ryan to Jones. 41 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. And this is taken in. Touchdown, Julio Jones with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons turn that interception into a touchdown. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 35. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This taken in about four yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I pose it a quarterback. The number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Well, Charles, he's thrown five picks in a game before, and right now after that one, he's standing on number four. And right now your defensive coordinator is asking the offensive coordinator, can you do anything to slow this down? Because my guys have to keep running back out on the field. So play calling may come into it a little bit, maybe run the ball a little bit more. A lot of it depends on the scoreboard. They may have to keep throwing it. Jared Davis on the Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Again, they run with Gurley. He's got the first down here inside the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 23 yards the pick up there. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Jeff Okuda up from his quarterback spot to make the play. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Twelve-yard line. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy that... And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it to the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there. But they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Lions take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. No! <laughs> 